Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. I've got opinions from multiple chart analysts today, specifically a few from the XRP community, and one analyst says that if uh, things go a particular way with XRP, that he's going to be retiring very, very soon. So I'll get, the, I'll share his thoughts on, on that. Uh, um, I've also gotten here a couple stories, and this is pretty much all pertaining to price in one way or another. Uh, I just kind of picked up some of the the more interesting things I found in uh, in crypto media today. Like this one, for example, uh, Bitcoin 90 day volume breaks bullish above peak 2017 levels. Now, of course, as I always say, this is important. Even though this is an XRP centric channel, uh, we need to be aware of the price action of Bitcoin for what I think are probably obvious reasons. Uh, then I got this article, Bitcoin price primed to extend losses below 8500 So I'm going to get you a, a broad array of, uh, of opinions here. But before we get going any further, if you would please ever so delicately tap that like button. And if you're a fan of Ripple and XRP, shake what your mama gave you and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel. So the market cap for the asset class, $237 billion. We've got uh, Bitcoin at 8776 and XRP at $27.1 cents at the time of recording here. Now, here's a piece from you today titled XRP Price Prediction Facing Obstacles Ahead of Growth to 30 Cents. So let me sh save uh, or share with you just, just part of this. Uh, the top 10 cryptocurrencies have not changed their positions a lot over the last 24 hours. The situation is diverse as neither buyers nor sellers are dominating the market. A Binance coin, BNB, is the biggest gainer today with its price increasing by 1.34%. And indeed, so if you look here, and I had these pulled up, there's not much to say about it, though. Like, you can see Bitcoin price, 24-hour chart, and XRP price. It's just trading sideways. That's that's really all that's going on here. So 1.3% gain, that, that, that's the big newsworthy uh, part of that. Anyway, um, even though there's plenty of fundamentals, new, fundamental news about XRP, it cannot help the coin to start the bullish trend. Uh which I think is a, a reasonable position. I make that point pretty much all the time. Fundamentals, yes, they matter tremendously, but um, you know, the more time passes, the more the fundamentals matter because right now everybody's just in a frenzy around this asset class. The, um, the vast majority of people in the space have no, like, have no idea, what, like, realistically, which cryptocurrencies are, are going to uh, really have true staying power. It's more like people are just throwing money into certain things, making friends and communities, uh, and then just being tribal about it. That's pretty much it, right? Um, anyway, so XRP slash USD. Any ways to reach $0.30 cents sooner or later? Uh, the sell-off continued, so the likelihood of achieving the support of, uh, at uh, $0.26.5 cents increases in the nearest future. Uh, and he talks about the one-hour chart. I don't really want to read that. Uh, this gets too into the weeds for what this channel is. This is not some sort of chart analyst channel. I'm not a chart analyst, and I have no interest, as I've stated before, in learning how to read charts. Uh, I'm all about the fundamentals. I just like sharing the sentiments of uh, people out there that kind of do know what they're uh, what they're looking at, or at least uh, claim to know what it is that they're looking at. Anyway, in terms of the long-term projection, the ongoing drop might continue, but the price will not decline so much. The strong support XRP tested on October 23rd is at 26.65 cents. Thus, the level of selling volume has been slightly going down since the beginning of November. It signals that sellers have already fixed their positions and buyers will seize their opportunity shortly. All in all, XRP will bounce off the 26.65 cent area during the second part of November and uh, and so and by the way, I shouldn't mention this. I always, I, I do in every video, but I, I, since we're talking about price, I just want to mention sooner. I I don't have a financial background. I'm sure many of you that follow me are well aware of this and are probably tired of hearing that. Sorry, got to do it though. There are always new people coming on board all the time. I have no financial background. Don't buy or sell anything because of me. I just think it's fun to, to share this information. And this is my most favoritest hobby I've ever had is following XRP and sharing what I learned with everybody that's uh, that's willing to listen. So there you go. Take a look at this. This is cool. So this is from. Eric Cho, Mr. Swing Trade. Now, I had not come across him before, uh, but I did follow him today, and he has a massive following. 139,200 followers on Twitter. Oh, whoa. That's awesome. That's impressive. Anyway, uh, so here's what he tweeted at. Hashtag XRP. Hashtag Ripple. Bullish on my investment on XRP. Uh, hashtag XRP. Hashtag Ripple. Patience will pay off. Ready to retire next year. If we do break towards 60 plus cents, indeed, he seems rather, uh, rather confident about that. 
And uh, here's what he, he wrote about himself here on his Twitter profile. Uh, Turning $1,000 a trading account into whatever through trends. I make a few big trades a week featured on Forbes slash Coindesk slash Cointelegraph. And now you can add to that if you want to, Mr. Joe, uh, slash Moon Lambo channel. See, I mean, you should probably put that ahead of Forbes because Moon Lambo channel, of course. I'm much more prominent those than Forbes, uh, Coindesk, and Cointelegraph uh, combined. That's just a cold, hard fact right there. And so here's the chart. Here's a bigger version of what he used to justify it. Um, I'm yeah, just I, I put it up on the screen. If you guys want to take a look at this, feel free. He didn't have any additional text here explaining uh, his, his thoughts on it. And I don't do actual chart analysis. I just like to share the sentiment of people out there that, uh, again, are... Our chart analysts and, and traders and all that good stuff there. So here it is. That's the big version from TradingView. All right, next. Um, this is an interesting concept. Uh, so this comes from uh, XRP community member Awake, who on Twitter is at Mr. Level Up. Two tweets. I'm going to read both of them. He's comparing um, XRP to VeChain. You'll see in just a second here. So he writes, uh, another day right, no XRP movement. So that's what he was predicting. Uh, please understand it's running uh, last, 100%. It, he's talking in reference to other coins. Uh, multiple minds have teamed up with me to look at it. Don't let it fool you. I'm very in tune with the pattern. Just so happens the one I study the most responds last. Otherwise, timing would be precise. See below. Our response will be just like VeChain. I just can't control the timing. And here's the chart that he had to, to uh, justify that and ex explain what it is that he was writing about. So on the left here, uh, this is the, uh, the the chart for VeChain, and on the right it's for XRP. And he's noting, in, in terms of the timing of it, you can see how VeChain broke up here. And so he was comparing. This is what he's stating here. Even I can see this, and I'm not a chart analyst at all. So he's saying that the charts were uh, very similar, this to this. And he's saying that uh, historically, from what he's looked at, XRP, he believes that it will follow. That's his opinion right there. Um, next, interesting, in, in terms of conceptually talking about coins leading other coins, take a look at this. So this is a this is an analysis from Patty Stash, and I, uh, I had him pretty frequently too. He's, he's an energetic guy. I like this guy. Uh, so he was... Um, because he, he, he actually he does like uh, video updates, two really brief ones that he puts up to Twitter, uh, puts on Twitter rather, and so he has this idea about uh, you know Chinese projects, cryptocurrencies leading the way for the rest of the market. Check this out. So he tweeted this out uh, earlier today. Chinese projects leading the way this morning. They held like champs and are now making another push after that pump they did two weeks ago. Incredible to see, considering for the past two years they sold off following a pump. Changes in the air. And here's the chart that he has associated with that particular tweet. So here's what he's talking about here. And he, again, he believes Chinese these Chinese coins leading the market, but te check out what he wrote here. This, If you're, in, if you're driving, don't worry about this. But if, if you're looking at your screen, you can see right here where I'm moving my mouse around, there's a, there's a red line there, and he writes this. This is the magic line. Sounds crazy to say, but if altcoin dominance breaks this, it should spike hard and initiate a much harder push for altcoins. And uh, so, obviously, including that would indeed be XRP. And so I just found it fascinating that he was specifically citing that. And he is the, he's the biggest proponent, I've said this before, just the, the concept of alt season coming. He is the biggest proponent for that. And, uh, and, and we shall see. It's just interesting that he has this theory now. Uh, I hadn't heard him cite anything like this in the past, that these particular coins could uh, be the ones that uh, really push for it. But, uh, but there you go. And then, you've, like I said, you got uh, at Mr. Level up here saying that uh, VeChain is leading XRP, but uh, something's about to happen for XRP. So there you go. There's, there's another opinion there. And then uh, my precious XRP on Twitter writes, it's time for a breakout with this chart here. Uh, which really is just indicating, essentially, there's been a lot of consolidation, and you're at a point where it's got to break up or down, right? So it's time for a breakout one way or another, hopefully to the positive. All right, next article here. Bitcoin 90-day volume breaks bullish above peak 2017 levels. And this title, the title of this article definitely caught old Moon Lambo's attention here. All right, uh, so the futures markets take over spot trading. Uh, this time, the Bitcoin market has made a complete recovery from the low volumes in January. The biggest boost comes from the newly launched futures market and the heightened activity on BitMEX. The leading futures exchange saw open interest exceed $1 billion several times in the second half of the year. According to a market commentator, Charles Edwards, Bitcoin's 90-day volume recently broke as high as 40% above its 2017 peak levels. This, he says, 
has powerful implications. And uh, here's the tweet. Massive volume of Bitcoin, guess what? Things are not are, are not as they may seem. Shrinking spot market volume has been more than compensated uh, for. Futures have swallowed the spot market. Bitcoin 90-day volume was recently 40% more than the 2017-18 peak. Uh, this has powerful implications. Anyway, uh, the Bitcoin spot market, which was a source of price discovery for years, has been supplanted by the larger, more agile futures market. Price discovery is happening both on BitMEX and Binance futures markets, as well as CME and BACT, which are attracting mainstream investors with cash settled and uh, physical delivered Bitcoin futures. All right, uh, the Bitcoin market is also dependent on the interplay between exchange inflows and outflows. Bitcoin movements to exchanges signal selling pressures. Tether inflows, however, are usually followed by a rally. But the most effective combination for a bullish price move would be an outflow of Bitcoin uh, while USDT liquidity grows. Uh, the hodling behavior on the side of whales and new funds to boost buying Bitcoin positions. Right. Um, in the past few months, the flow uh, profile signals a potential price slide due to diminishing sources of new liquidity. The attitude to Bitcoin is signaling a return to pessimism with the Bitcoin fear and greed index moving down to fear territory at 39 points. Although I would still say from my perspective, anytime you see you talk about the fear and greed index, uh, usually when people are fearful, that might be a good indicator it's time to buy, which is not financial advice, just to be clear. I'm just sharing an opinion. Uh, for Bitcoin, almost all the fact, all factors that determine a rally period can shift within days or even hours. Bitcoin has shown that even at depressed prices, a rally to a higher valuation can take just a few weeks to set up. This activity of USDT shifts quickly. Right now, each USDT coin moves about four times through the exchange ecosystem in a day. During peak activity periods, each coin moves more than 11 times per day, giving uh, the 4.1 billion coins a magnified effect. And so there you go. Um, last piece in this video here. Uh, Bitcoin price primed to extend losses below 8500k. And so this is by Ayush Jindal with News BTC. And I'm just going to, since they pretty well got the article summed up, and I don't want to get through too many, of the, go, get too into the weeds, too many specifics here. So I'm just going to cover with you uh, the bullet points. There's four bullet points, and I think it's a pretty good synopsis. So anyway, number one. Bitcoin price is declining, and it is now trading below the $8,800 level against the U.S. dollar. Two, the price is trading with a bearish angle and is likely to tumble below $8,600 and $8,500. Three, today's key bearish trend line is active with resistance near $8,960 on the hourly chart of the BTC slash USD pair. Uh, that, that data is from Kraken. And four, a clear break below 8600 is likely to push the price below 8500 and 8450 So there you go. Uh, you know what? Uh, my favorite one uh, of this all, I, I found it all interesting, and I love hearing the opinions from all these people, but still my favorite one is here from Mr. Cho. Bullish on my investment on XRP, hashtag XRP, hashtag Ripple. Patience will pay off. Ready to retire next year if we do break towards 60 plus cents. It's all good matter of time, my friend. But that's it for this video. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau!